accounting standards okay now this is the term which you are going to hear throughout your accounting career okay as beginners you need to have a fair bit of an idea as to what these are about you need not necessarily know each one of them in detail okay but let me first explain to you what are accounting standards and why is the need as to accounting standards why do they arise now we all know that in the world there are various countries okay let's call these countries as a b c and d right today we know that the entire world is a big marketplace which i'm referring to through means of this yellow circle or whatever you might figure it out kind of circle right now with the movement of goods and services across countries many of these companies are operating across geographies so let's say a might be selling goods to b to d to c b in turn might be selling something to a c and maybe some other third countries as well right now each one of these jurisdictions or countries as we may call them have their own set of accounting regulations right but in order to compare as to what are the financial results of one company which is operating across geographies there is a requirement okay for any stakeholder or any person let's say for example there's an investor sitting in country b who wants to invest into country d so there has to be some common accounting regulations which enables preparation of financial statements of country d in such a manner that the person who is sitting in country b can understand meaningfully as to how any company in this jurisdiction is operating so therefore there is a need of standardizing accounting policies right in order to achieve this objective you know there is something called international accounting standard committee now recently this has been renamed okay which is now known as international financial reporting committee okay this is the committee which basically forms certain standard accounting policies and procedures okay the idea is to get some policies across which can be accepted on a worldwide basis of course there will be some deviation depending on the local laws and local regulations of various countries but the idea is to harmonize the accounting practices and various countries own independent regulatory bodies let's say for example in india we have the institute of chartered accountants of india okay so the institute of chartered accountants of india is actually a member of ifrc if i may call it international financial reporting committee okay so whenever a new policy formulation will happen at this level ICAI as we call the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India is going to be notified or will also come to know about these right now the from an indian perspective this ICAI in 1977 had set up the accounting standard board okay let me just redraw this a little bit so icai set up the accounting standard board or asb the purpose of asb is it will formulate accounting standards okay on various matters which may have multiple possibilities so let's say for example if there is a revenue recognition item which is followed differently by different set of people so accounting standard board is going to form a draft accounting standard as to how the accounting should be done once this accounting standard forms a draft this is then given to various stakeholders for comment okay 
So the government has to come from the government. The comment might come from industry or various people who might be impacted. The idea is to see whether what they are drafting is something which is going to be work worthwhile from those aspects as well. And this accounting standard board actually considers the international accounting standards as well. Right? So these accounting standards, once formulated, are given to ICAI, okay, which is this body, and then it sends it to public for their comments. Once these comments are given, these are duly considered, and thereafter the accounting standards are notified. Notified effectively would mean that it will tell as to who all are covered. For what are they covered? Okay. And various other matters. How the accounting should be done for certain things as well. Right? So basically, the accounting standards, this was all the formulation of the process, but accounting standard are basically certain guidelines, okay, or a particular manner in which accounting has to be done, manner of accounting for given transactions. This may be mandatory for certain people, may be optional for certain people, the implementation may be done in phases and so on, which we will see as we move on with the study of accounting standards. Okay. In India, as of now, you have 32 accounting standards. You can refer to any of your textbook to see what all are the text of these accounting standards. Okay.